Hey, does this look familiar? I'm outside. Yeah, uh, I've got uh, EBL sent these over to me. This is a, a kit where you just carry it with a handle. It's portable. It's 200 watts of solar panel. And uh, we are gonna take a look, well, we're gonna take a look at their kit. And I'm also gonna do some experimentation today. I need to set up a 400 watt system for a charger, for a portable charger, for like an RV or camper. And we're gonna try to combine that with this and just see how it all works out. But we're also gonna take a look at this product from EBL, yeah. Yeah, so the first thing we gotta do is unpack this thing so we can all have a look at it. And uh, again, I'll, I'm getting tired of saying it. This is the stuff they keep sending is heavy. Somebody's trying to, somebody's trying to hurt me. <laughs> this is, wow. Okay, this is pretty bright. Now, let's see, we've got two straps back here to release in order to unfold all this. So we'll unlock that. We'll also have a pouch here that's always where you're, anytime you get this, this is where your cables and your stuff's gonna be for your, for your package there. Wow, look at that, oh wow. Whew, we can plug this thing into anything by the looks of it. Wow, they've included every, look at these adopters. They've got every kind of adopter under the sun there to hook this thing in so that you can use this panel with whatever it is you want to plug it to in order to charge like a power station. I have a power station here with me. I've laid the four panels out. I guess those are 50 watt panels each. So that gives me a total of 200 watts and they would be in series of course with about a, well, that's about a 12 volt power supply roughly. Uh, we're gonna, Put the adopter on this cable, plug into a uh, power station here, and then we'll check and eh, let's see how we're let's see how we're doing for power coming off that. Okay, so I've got the 200 watt panel laid out. Uh, we're on an adopter plug here to this very small uh, power station from Vivor. Actually, I'm just trying this one out because it has the best display that I can show on the camera. And we're running just about 100 watts in right now. We're at 99% full, so it's not really going to be pulling any power. I'm going to see if I can plug something in, put a load on here, and then that way we can get a better reading off that 200 watt package. But right now, that's actually very, very good. That's 100 watts of power. That is nothing to, you know, scuff at. Okay, right now, the uh, there we got a little bit of weird cloud cover going on, but we've got 110 watts coming in off the 200 watt system to charge this uh, power station back up. I've got a light plugged in below here just for a load, but because uh, I'm at 99%, it's like the thing is full, so it's not really going to pull much charge. So I'm trying to create a situation where it'll actually pull. And it's, it's showing 110 watts. And this also has a limiter, so yeah, don't be fooled. There could be 200 watts coming in, but it's only going to allow in so much. And in this case, 110, I think that's what it was rated for. It was right around 110 watt input. Or wet. That just went up a little bit, 111. So it's going to float around that area. Okay, so we'll shut that down and we're going to go to the next big one. Let's see if we can get a, hopefully we can get a good camera angle on it. All right. So what we're seeing here on the screen now, this is a uh, charge station that requires 400 watts, but it requires above 30 volts. So I've put three panels in series to create the 400 watts, also to create 36 volts technically, and then it's on an Anderson plug. And normally this thing won't charge unless you reach those those minimum. You've got to have that much power coming in or it will just not work. And so what it's doing right now is it's showing the 56% uh, charged and it's flashing because it is charging. It's actually charging. The only bad thing here is I don't actually see a wattage coming in and that's kind of a shame because I was, I was really hoping we could read that on this one. Okay, just missed it here a few seconds ago, but we had well over 130. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's coming up over 130 watts. The sun's going behind clouds on me every time I start the camera up, but I'm uh, just trying to see. Hopefully, you can see that on the screen a little bit. Uh, it was running up as high as 135 watts coming in from the 200 watt panel from EBL, which is helping charge this particular power. This is a heavy power station. It can handle up to 500 watts coming in from panels, so uh, I'm going to double the input here in a second and just see uh, if we can climb above that 130 watt threshold or not. I think we can. All right, this is the next configuration. Again, I don't know. I'm trying to get some some way to get the camera to pick this up because you can hardly read this because it's so shiny on the screen all the time. Um, 175 watts right now and what I've got is two sets of 200 watts coming in. The EBL 200 and I've also got a pair of 100s tied together to bring the other 200 in, giving me a total at this point, uh, 474 watts coming in, charging this uh, power station right now on a uh, 
the XT90 uh, plug. Okay, there you go. It's at 182 watts right now, and still it's been climbing. Uh, the sun keeps going in behind clouds back and forth, so a little bit inconsistent that way. But we are charging the. Let me get this over here a little bit more. We are charging the, the uh, station up pretty good at that kind of wattage coming in. We technically, I've got, I guess you could say, 400 watts worth of panels laying out here. Yeah, this is the mess behind behind the scenes. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, a pair of 100 waters tied together to make, uh, you know, 200 watts equivalent, and then the 200 watt panel from EBL, and then that's tied together. So that gives me a total of actually 200 watts, not 400, because they're. Uh, and this is in series and then they're parallel together to come into the uh, unit so uh, we've got good power coming in no question about that okay so we're back inside uh, the power stations are still outside in the driveway charging up but uh, thought we'd come in here and take a quick look at the features because EBL when they sent this over to us it came in this nice box which just so happens to have all the features written right here and really the main things you want to be looking for, uh, any solar panel is going to come with the MC4 cable. They're rated 200 watt. They're 23% uh, percent, uh, conversion rate on the efficiency. So that's actually a pretty good number actually for this type of monoline crystalline. Monocrystalline pa panel, like, yeah, you know, that's, that's pretty much what you're going to get. And uh, the open circuits and things, this confuses some uh, people. And when you look at these numbers, a lot of folks will call me and tell me, you know, my God, I've got uh, 24 volt panels or something. I thought I had 12 or something. And uh, really, solar panels are not rated, even if they're rated for 12 volt, they're not 12 volt panels. They're just not, you know. And what, what they'll do is they'll come in at a higher voltage, you know, or whatever. And that voltage will be I don't like an open circuit, this sort of thing like they've got here where it's 23.8 volt, but that's that's open circuit. There's nothing connected, there's no load, nothing happening. Uh, when they are connected, of course, they're gonna come down to 19.8 volts. So still good voltage, but you need that to overcome a 12 volt system. Like if you're gonna charge a car battery or something, you're gonna need more than the car battery voltage in order to charge. So anyways, it's all technical, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 10 amps, pretty typical. Now the 10 amp thing kind of throws me off a little bit because a uh, 200 watt panel theoretically should go higher than 10 amp at 12 volt, but it's not 12 volts, so therefore, you know, yeah. So if you do the 19.8 times the 10.1 or whatever, you're getting close to 200 watts, so that's the way they rated them. This is no different than anybody else's panels, believe me, you know. Uh, they're they're made of a nice Oxford fabric. Yeah, they're they're um, kind of like a heavy, almost blue jean like you know fabric. So they're they're good, durable, wearable fabric. The the you know the panels themselves, like what they're stitched into. Uh, but what I really like is they uh, come with all those different plugs, so you can hook to just to, you can wire up to just about anything to plug those in uh, into different power stations or if you're rigging into something else. But uh, for portable power work, these are great. Uh, I'm gonna have a link, of course, below where you can find hopefully a deal on this uh, set. And a 200 watt, 200 watts will get you quite a bit of power, as I saw. Uh, the different power stations we used today was actually three different power stations that we looked at. And what I was really after was a couple things. I wanted you guys to be able to see the wattage coming in from the panel, uh, which was a problem because the shiny, you know, front on those things, just it, it, all the glare makes it really hard to get it on the camera. And the other thing was I noticed that different uh, stations I had I sort of showed different wattages, but that was partly because they're not all uh, at exactly 50%, you know, charged or 100% charged. And so and then they have what they call BMS battery management systems, which also control charging in this case. So each one had its own uh, limit on how much power was allowed to come in. And ultimately the last one, which had the highest, of course, that one will go up to 500 watts coming in, which is, that's a lot of power coming in to recharge it. But that's also a very large uh, system. And so we wanted to try to test all that and also wanted to try some different wiring ideas with parallel and series circuits with the uh, various panels I had, plus using the, the EBL 200 watt set and just see what could we provide for power. And about the best I could do was put uh, two of the 100 waters into uh, parallel with each other and then uh, bring that in series with the 200 watt was like, you know, eh, you know, wasn't that great. Uh, so then I uh, paralleled off the, the, the 200, 100, uh, 100 watts, I series those, 
and then parallel those with the 200 watts from EBL to bring it in. And that actually gave us some pretty darn good power. So I was pretty surprised with that, but it was like, you know, okay, that would be your best uh, solution at that point because you're trying to bring as, obviously you're trying to just bring as many watts in as you can get for like a station so you can charge it up as quickly as possible. In fact, that station we were, uh, that last station we were looking at, just checked it, it's over 90% right now and it's, it's quickly filling up. So that's a good thing too. Plus the sun kept going behind clouds today. We had jets flying over us, helicopters, noisy trucks going by out on the road, <laughs> you name it. Anything that could go wrong outside was happening. That's why a lot of times I like to do stuff in the shop and not be out there because out there, you just don't know what's, you know, it's out of control. You don't know what's gonna happen. But this is the EBL, yep, portable power panel set from EBL. Very nice, I'm glad they sent this over to us. This was something I, uh, they mentioned it. I was like, you know what? Yeah, bring them on because I'd, I'd really be interested in taking a look at a, a set, and especially uh, when you're looking at portable, a lot of times they're showing you 100 watts or something. So I thought, 200? Yeah, you know, I, if somebody makes 400, I'd like to see that set in here too. <laughs> Why not, right? You know. All right, now. Okay, so we're finished charging. Here's the uh, package that we we're looking at today. The other thing that they have is of these, which you can set these out to set your panels up on an angle if the sun is, well, in the morning or in the afternoon, you can get the angle of the sun if you can't get it directly overhead. I picked around one o'clock, I think it was today, because the sun was just pretty much directly overhead at that point, so that was like, that would give me my best charge. The uh, package is 18 pounds. I checked that, yeah. Nice plastic handles here for carrying, so you can, you know, haul this around. And of course, the back side of it, you have your uh, the nice MC4 uh, connectors back here with a nice pouch to store the cables in. EVL makes some nice stuff. They also have some really nice power stations, a lot of other you know solar related stuff. Uh, now here's the funny. I uh, just looked at something on EVL site that I thought was kind of strange, but this is said to be for like RV and camping or blackout. Blackout, there's a, is that a new term? I guess, I mean, I know what it is. Yeah, <laughs> I live in Texas. We know all about blackout, you know. <laughs> so if you have a blackout, ABL get you, <laughs> get you some power back up and running. So, wow, I gotta thank EBL again for sending this over. This has been uh, really uh, quality. You know, let me just open that up and just show it to you. This is really nice quality and loving it, yeah. And it's it's 200, 200 watts. Again, that's a nice amount of power to have if you're out camping, or RVing, or blackout. <laughs> okay. Oh man. So, anyways, oh, that down and uh, yeah, 18 pounds. So, thank you so much for watching. Copy tools. Please like, share, subscribe, and ring the notice bell. And I'm out of here. I am going to move on this week we've got a lot of stuff to cover in the next few weeks so oh that's this was this was great and i was uh, pretty impressed with what we were able to accomplish today with it meantime i'm out of here uh, over and out 